Hey everyone, it's MGems here, and welcome back to episode 1 of Life is Strange 2. So, we just had a really intense scene. Sean got kidnapped by this asshole racist guy, and um, the cops are on their way. And so now we have to decide whether we're going to steal this camping gear or leave, because Daniel, I think, used his powers and everything's messed up. So, okay, I was having- I'm just having like a really hard time with this, because like, I don't care about stealing from these terrible people. But I'm just worried about how this might affect us going forward because like what if the cops are right outside or something like that? Um, or we just, you know, I don't want to make things worse for them. It is raining out though. So like, this is like not the biggest decision we've had to make, but I'm struggling so much with it. I want to just leave and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Not because, you know, I, I care about stealing from these jerks, but I just don't want to make things worse for them, potentially. We might be okay, we might be able to find shelter, so... I think it's just important we get the Move hell it. out of here. Let's go! Now! I would have been okay Come stealing, on. like, food or Come something. On. Wait! Shit! Is, oh my god, did he Where take the going? puppy? What is he holding? Sean! Watch out! What, oh, why man. does it say use Ada uh, confirm your choice I don't know. Oh no. Oh hey man, please help whoa, us. Whoa, whoa. What are you doing out here, man? You almost scared the shit out of me. You guys okay? Don't look okay. No, we're not, man. At the gas station. We're fucking crazy. He tied me up in his back office. I swear. Dude, say no more. I believe you. Okay? Oh, thank God we met somebody nice. She's crazy out in the woods. Get in, you two. Hurry up before he catches us. Oh my God, we have a friend. Okay, see, now I'm really glad we didn't steal the camping stuff. Because maybe we won't need it. Hopefully this guy is going to be an ally for us, and it's going to help us. I don't know if we're going to tell him the truth or anything, though. That might have to be a choice we make. Damn, that oh. is crazy. <laughs> and I thought I was having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. Could we have, like, had the option to just leave the gas station and not sit at that picnic table and avoid all that? I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, did he mess with him at all? Did he mess with you too? He started too earlier. Oh, but shit. I bought too much stuff, just to piss him off. <laughs> Welcome to Redneck Land. This ain't Seattle no more. So we have only ever lived in Seattle? It says only lived in one place. We only lived in one place my whole life. Kinda lame, but... Well, you're pretty young. You have time. That's what's great about traveling. It gives you perspective. Sometimes yeah, perspective that much. the world sucks. People suck. Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. Yeah, I like this guy. <coughs> What's under the blanket? He did take the puppy. Come on, I'm not stupid. <sighs> I'm actually Daniel. glad though, cause like what? We <laughs> saved her. We're heroes. It's true. Like I didn't want to leave a dog with those horrible people. Yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> so it's another mouth to feed, but like what whatever. What should her name be? We should name her hey, Lila. <laughs> your dog, your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um, mm, how about uh, mushroom? 
Oh my god, I love it. Looks like a mushroom. Hey man, it's his choice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not much of a girl's name though. Who cares? I'm sure she loves it. So do I. <laughs> All right. I love it. Mushroom it is then. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, mushroom, you got the best name ever now. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on oh, your way to nice becoming moment. official road warriors, my dudes. <laughs> so where's this guy gonna take us to, I wonder? Um... Well, we already know what he does. Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money. Oh, really? Like, well. No soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites. Oh, good for you, man. Podcasts, protests, try to make some positive change. Yeah, whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. <laughs> it is true. Ever get lonely? What kind of questions are these? Um, I don't think he's famous, to be honest. <laughs> we kind of know how he makes money. He already said. I really want to see what he says to this, actually. Man, that sounds cool. Don't you ever get kind of lonely? We can be your friends. There's a big difference between alone and lonely. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. And you probably need a lot of people out here. That's right. The unseen side of America. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, I'd be like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah, so do and I. Feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious. Could be a serial killer, just throwing that out there. Oh, this is nice. I like this. Oh, I'm so glad we have a puppy. I'm actually so happy. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna make things more complicated. Oh no, what if the puppy dies? What do we have to choose between like the puppy's life or like getting away? I will boycott Life is Strange, I swear. <laughs> do not bring a puppy's life into this. That's the other thing too, it's like, it feels a little bit more like your choices have more weight because like, Daniel's only nine years old and like, Original Life is Strange, like, yeah, they're still, you know, young, but they're technically adults. So I just, I just don't want anything bad to happen to Daniel. Poor kid. Though, if he does have these crazy powers and figures out how to use them, I don't think we have to worry about him as much. I wonder if we're coming to the end of the episode. It's been quite a while. I wish I stole stuff in the beginning Man, from that place that. now. The shitty people. Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm. Where's the lighthouse, huh? Do 
Do you think he already knows? I feel like he's gonna say something. Hey, listen. I know what happened with you oh guys my God. in Seattle. I guessed it. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call. No pressure. We I, should talk about it. Although I we don't, don't even know what happened. Yeah, I was just gonna say, like it was so fast. It was not Sean's fault. I mean, yeah, he pushed that guy, but like th that guy would have hurt us if if we didn't hurt him first, most likely. It was the police. It was the cops' fault. It was the police. It's their fault. Dano just wanted to play saw me outside. Our shithead neighbor was picking on him. And I got in a fight. So dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops in, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. Oh, Sean. One second my dad was alive. Then... I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Fucking cops. It's even worse because hey, this is like a reality right. in our world, you know, like this is happening. Take a deep breath. Ugh. Hey, he's trying to help, Sean. Listen. I'm really sorry this happened to you, man. Injustice is everywhere. And you're taking the brunt of it right now. But you're gonna be okay, Sean. How? My life feels like... Like that town down there. Wiped out. Destroyed. What? Is that Arcadia Empty. Bay? No, it like can't I be. Because there's not a canon ending to Life is Strange. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. So the developer's giving us a message. <laughs> You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? And we have a puppy, so like, come on. You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I know, and I'm not looking forward to it. I know. I just have to find the right time. Take it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. It's just... It's not gonna be easy. Ooh, so I have a theory about what's gonna happen. Where are you going? I just had a thought. Good question. I was thinking... Get out of the country? Fuck it. Go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn. I thought I was the long haul traveler. Okay, so this is my thought, is that maybe this episode will end with us telling Daniel and then Daniel's gonna like lose it and then his powers are gonna come out in full force because it seems when like he is like emotionally stressed or something, that's when they come out and then maybe that's when they'll kind of address it and the episode will end that way. That is my thought. That might not be true, but, um, what did he say? I wasn't listening. I was thinking about that. Uh, yeah, I do wonder what would have happened if we had not run at all. Would we be in jail right now? Would, because we have a lot of people that would have, like, been on our side, right? To, like, advocate for us and be like, no, he's a good person. Like, he wouldn't do anything bad. Um... And, like, the cops have a dash cam, so they would have just seen, they would have seen, like, him got bl blown backwards and stuff and all that shit, so, like, obviously, like, Sean couldn't have done that. I don't know. I'm interested to see what he has to say if we ask if we should go back. Should I go back? Because I think it's too to late Seattle? now. 
Maybe I can try and explain everything. What happened? You should do what you think is best. If we don't even know what Mexico happened, though. seems like the right thing to do, then so be it. You're going in the right direction. He thinks we should leave. You have family there? <sighs> Maybe. Oh, we, we might. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? Oh, right. We don't know no, anything about... No way. She's... She's alive? Okay, she's alive. She's just... The dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. Aww. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. He's gonna help us get there? I'm so happy we have a friend. <gasps> oh my god, it is Arcadia Bay! Listen, I'll Wait drop a you by a motel. Wait. In a couple of hours. You guys could use some what? time to yourselves. How could they... How could they have that, though? Isn't that saying that... Oh! That's why it asked me at the beginning of the game what I did. So it does factor in. So Max and Chloe are alive in this story. Oh my god, are we gonna see them? I'm like... <laughs> I'm so excited now. That is so smart of them to do. Just, like, ask that one question and then it will factor into this game. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Okay, we might not see anything to do with them. But even if we just get like a little <laughs> Easter egg. I mean, that was a little Easter egg, but. I will be so happy. Okay, Mushroom. You can chase me. Then, Sean. <laughs> um, no. Come. See if you can catch me. Ow! Still surprised that Daniel's not asking more questions or like wanting to like call his dad or anything like that. Maybe he secretly knows and isn't saying anything. Glad to see him act like a kid again. How see, we tell? needed mushroom. Mushroom will help. Dogs always help. Too bad sandcastles never last. It will help uh, Daniel with the grief when we do tell him. We're so lucky Brody helped us. If it wasn't for him... Oh my god, the sticker that he has. Okay, so we still have two dollars. Uh, Daniel, can you like put this on? That's why I bought it. Exactly. Can we use it? Oh, I wonder if Brody has a phone charger. Probably not. Um, hello, real world. Almost broke, but needed the supplies. Now to check out how lost we are. Yeah, nosy bitch, that woman from the, the store. Oh, she was the worst. Crazy racist, played sheriff, and trapped me in the shithole. Yep. Daniel saved us. Really? He thinks it's an earthquake? He's not at all putting together the fact that that happened twice, and Daniel was there both times. Feeling safe, thanks to Brody. Oh look, the the headstone. Rip Arcadia. What does that say below? Uh... Oh, it says fuck tornadoes. I could not read that. I'm so happy that's in the game. Wow, okay. We made it quite a ways. And we got a- okay, we got three out of six. That's not too bad. So- oh, is this on the beach? Can we get up then? Sean, get up. Do things. Oh yay, let's play with the dog. Hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Let me do a test throw first. Cool. Well, okay, but I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. 
Ah, uh, here's a mechanic from Captain Spirit that I was wondering how it was going to be, like, implemented. Okay, let's not go too far. Sean, do it. Come on, Mushroom. Get it. Go, Mushroom. Oh my god, what if he ends up running away or something? I'm just like, thinking about the bad scenarios that could happen with a dog. Oh <laughs> good my god, dog. what a good puppy. A my dog just runs Whoa. to get the stick and what then runs away. Oh cool. You just killed a shark. It's a shark tooth, right? Deadly mushroom. She's awesome. Now oh, she that's the souvenir. The yeah. Okay, here. <laughs> Oh my god, I just want to do like a fully like selfish playthrough and see what happens. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. Fetch. It's nice that they have these like little moments to kind of... Wait, are you gonna leave us? Please don't leave. We need you. Come on, mushroom. Get that stick. Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I only had, had two tough bucks, times so. when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. Oh, that's it's nice. right there, room 10. On the second floor. Listen. I don't want to freak you out, okay, but you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Oh, I know that he's right. Because they could track us, right? Really? You can always get a burner later. Well, that's true. Trust me. But we'd have to steal it. And Sean... Talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to. You're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a Aww. goodbye gift. Ta da! I, I mean, ho ho ho. And don't you dare argue Is about it. Is it supplies? I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's he yours. You're so nice. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's. Your bandana now. Aww. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. <laughs> What a good dude. <laughs> I think Sean needs that right now, too, because he needs to see that there's still good people in the Me world. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. <laughs> I don't want him to leave. I really like his character. Me too. Wow, he did a lot for us, too. Kinda hope there's okay. money in that bag. Time to hit the sack. Puppy! Oh my god, Mushroom is so cute. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. Oh cool, we have Hot Dog Man on this bag now. Oh yeah, okay. let's see what's in the backpack. Good. Okay, so we have a sleeping mask. Oh, it's a souvenir. Oh. Or maybe he did it on purpose. Oh, he wrote us a letter? Um, okay. 
Sean, I'm a better writer than I am speaker. That's why I'm writing this letter while you and Daniel are asleep in the car. I'm sorry that I can't take you further, but there's a good reason to it. As dysfunctional as it can be, family is family. When we met, I was on my way to Utah, where my mom is currently oh, losing her battle against cancer, and I have to be there. You find a few dollars in the backpack. That's all the cash I have left, but you need it more than me. Your goal is good. You need to follow your instinct, but please be careful and protect your brother no matter what. You'll see when you tell him the truth about Seattle that sharing the same pain will make you stronger together eventually. When you get to Mexico, keep a low profile until you meet people you can truly rely on. In any case, I think you'll be safer there than you are here. A dead cop in the current state of things cannot be a good way to start negotiations. True, even though it was his freaking fault. <sighs> I wish I could have met you two under better circumstances, but I'm glad I could help you the best way I could. Take care, Brody. P.S. Hit me up when you're safe. A tribe called West. I'm always online when not driving. Been a while since we used to pen. <laughs> Hope you decipher. Oh my god, he's so nice. How much money did he leave us? Oh, 30 bucks? What a good dude. Um, I don't think we can just like get rid of this. I don't know. Okay, so. Okay, so I guess this like shows all the different episodes and then we'll get to see the map expand. Man, we are we are gonna travel far in this game. Oh, so I just missed this one, and then I guess maybe this one, the last one will be in the motel Looks room. Like the managers asleep for the night. Thank God. I shouldn't have any trouble from them. Do you think it will have Netflix? Or a <laughs> I hope so. Dude, this is some motel, not an Airbnb. If you're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. Oh, a bike. He never said anything about Halloween, which is kind of weird. I think maybe Daniel knows something's wrong. He just, he doesn't know that it's his dad and he doesn't know all the details. He just knows that something's wrong. And he probably just doesn't want to ask Sean, maybe because he's nervous about what whatever answer he'll get back. We probably shouldn't mess around here. <laughs> um, oh my god, look at Mushroom! I'm dead. Adorable kid and adorable dog. I cannot handle it. Uh, what was our room number? 10? I swear he said 10. It'll probably be the only one we can interact with. Yeah. Okay, well I feel a little safer now. At least we're in a place. <laughs> Ooh. Check it out. It even has a bathtub. I don't think you want to take a bath in there, dude. I'm going to throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV too. And there's a balcony. Whoa, this is nice and warm. Oh, are we going to have to decide whether to throw the phone away or not? <sighs> this bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not bad, but too far from the TV. <laughs> Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Want to play it over rock, paper, scissors? No, oh, I don't. I just want to no give it to you. You can have whatever I'm you want, so Daniel. I'm so ready to beat you. You always pick rock. Ah, paper, because I don't want to win. Aw. Aw. Shoot. I told you, man. Can we play another round? Come on. Uh, yeah, okay. Sure, I mean, you're gonna lose again, but suit yourself. Not this time. Um, I don't know. There I we won. go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the pet is mine! I knew I'd beat you. See? And I knew you'd brag about it. Don't be salty. It's a fair win. Yeah, it is. I surrender. All right, I'm gonna run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, Pig Pen. <laughs> I wouldn't be so short, <laughs> oh, Pig Man. Boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Wait, I want to uh, watch this. I'll be right here. Of course you will. Oh, cool! Hot Dog Man is on. Oh, should we lower cool. the volume a little? I remember. Hey, can you turn that down, please? Because people might get mad and okay, come in. Okay. Cool. 
I used to be all over that show too. Oh, his, his black eyes are kind of creepy though. Things. Oh my god, I love this. That's creepy though, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> I tried to iron my shirts once. <laughs> Burned a hole through them. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm gonna sweep the carpet. Ooh, a card. A cheap souvenir for a cheap trip. Oh, cool, that's our Makes souvenir. Sense. Wait, we don't get to take it? So we only missed one, that's not too bad. I can see why they left that tie. I thought I heard a phone buzz. This episode is awesome. You should uh, sit down and watch it with me. Oh my god, that scared me. Awesome. Ooh la la. Fresh clean towels. <laughs> Let's put this in the bathroom for Prince Daniel. Damn. I could paint this shit. I'm pretty sure you could do better than that, Sean. You're a really good artist. Oh, yeah, Matt. Cool. I miss GPS already. Oh, can we go to the lighthouse? At least we're progressing south. I want to go to the lighthouse. Um, so we're at the Three Seals Motel. I guess we're just continually going south. Which, wait, what was south? What are we gonna run into next? I miss GPS already. But uh, at least we're progressing south. Newport. Okay. Yes, what are the rules? No worries. No loud noise. We yeah, I kind of thought. Fire tonight. Oh, do we get free breakfast? That's awesome. Guess must be over 21. That's so weird, really? So, like, if you're over 21 and then you have a kid, you can't? Odd. Daniel! You have towels in the bathroom. Don't forget to use yeah, them. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe there's bubble bath and stuff here. My hair feels like it's coated in dirt. A shower after Daniel will be bliss. It's so cute Damn. how he always puts his brother the first. Fucking redneck hit me hard. Turned yeah, screw that guy. No, Sean, you shouldn't turn the other cheek. So you deserve better than that shit. Sorry, guys, I'm upset. <laughs> um, yeah. Man, this hot water is going to feel so good. Fill her up. So is it still Halloween then? Like Halloween night? Uh, yuck, Sean. Oh my god. <laughs> my bad. Hey. Daniel will love this. Okay, man. <laughs> Sorry about that, but, uh... I got a nice bath for you. Some things do not change. Yeah, maybe I should've- I should've looked in this first. It's cool we got him something. She's so sweet. Right, Sean? Yeah, she is. I'm trying to look in the backpack. I wasn't planning on getting rid of his bag, but... Uh, we're not getting rid of it, are we? Oh no, do I have to... Decide? I guess I should just send him to bath. You ready? Aw, the episode's almost finished. Nice try. The water's hot. Come on. Yeah, okay, I'm going. Are you gonna bring the dog in? <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! So many bubbles! Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will! Promise! Thanks. And no, the dog is not <laughs> taking the bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. 
He's definitely putting the dog in the bath. throw my phone away while Dana was washing. Oh. He'd freak out if he saw me. Can we just at least use it first? Because, like, poor Lila is probably just, like, losing it. Track stars aren't supposed to smoke. Yeah. Couldn't care less now. Yeah, I don't blame you. Um, it's nice out here. It's not what I wanted to Wish do. I cared. Oh, Sean, man. Look, I'm gonna get you to Mexico, okay? I'm gonna do my absolute best, I promise. <sighs> I could use a serious bond rip right now. Uh, I thought I would throw the phone out here, no? Oh, charging phone, okay. I'm just gonna check on Daniel quick. Cause I really don't need him drowning in the bathtub. <laughs> hey dude, everything okay in there? Be careful, she doesn't need any soap. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, a handwritten note. Wait, isn't that what we just read? Thanks for everything, Brody. Yeah, okay. I'll be extra careful. Time to say goodbye to modern life. At least it, it seems like we have quite a bit of food, at least. Right? Unless we ate it all at the gas station. I don't know. Lily's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this. Oh no, I'm or gonna she'll have get to into choose. trouble too. Am I gonna? Ah! Uh, I want to call her so bad, you guys. I really want to call her. Cause I love Lila. <laughs> okay, this is oh. This is hard because we could end up getting her into more trouble, which I don't want to do. But then it could put her mind at ease a little bit if she at least, like, knows we're okay and we met somebody nice. But then again, I don't know what Sean is going to say to her, okay? He could make it worse. Uh, he's not very good at lying. But it says here, the police keep asking questions. I don't know what to tell them. Oh my god, I might regret this so much, but I just... I have to know what she's going to say. She's probably just going to ask us to come back or something. Sean? Which... Hey, Lila. Sean, is that you? Do you... Sean! Oh god, are you okay? I guess... I'm... I'm in a motel. With Daniel. <laughs> Shit! Everyone's looking for you here. Oh, I thought so she's okay. How about you? Are you okay? No. Everything's fucked up. I'm so worried about you. The cops are talking to everybody at school. This is a nightmare. We're fucked. Sean, don't say that. It will be okay. I miss you so much. Maybe you could come back. Okay, we don't need to be, like, aggressive. You know I wish I could, but... We can't take that risk. They're, they're gonna put me in juvie. Daniel! Oh shit. You're innocent. And I've got your back. No matter what. No way. I'm not gonna let you get in trouble for me. Stop acting like I'm never gonna see you again. That's bullshit. Oh, I hate this. Can't she come to Mexico with us? Like, later on when this is all blown over? <laughs> I mean, not that it will blow over, but... I'm sorry. I totally hate this. I guess... The freaking fighters are disbanded for no, a while. No, don't say that. Shit actually changes, I guess. So, where are you going? I don't know if we should tell her. Um, we're just going 
away for now. He doesn't want us I'll call there. you if I get a chance. I miss you, Lila. Sean, wait. Oh, that sucked. I could see the video. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? That's what I got when I was a kid. Not funny. This is probably making him more upset though to watch. Dude, check out oh, it face. is making him upset. Okay, we should throw it. Did that make it to the water? I hope so. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, good. He's got Don't a new think shirt about on. It. Just tell Daniel the truth. Oh my god, no, he's telling the truth right now. I'm not ready. I'm not emotionally ready for this. Are you kidding me? He looks so happy right now. Yeah. Can we wait until tomorrow? Let's just whatever, oh, you know. Man. We haven't played Guitar Fighter for years. You never beat my score. You played on easy mode. I was on hardcore. <laughs> You're so jealous. I'm the best guitar player. I don't get what these commands are asking me to do. Oh, I see. Okay. This is weird. Oh, that's making me sick. Why would that be an option? It's so weird. Oh, mushroom, you're so cute. We're gonna get in trouble Daniel, for making noise. Uh, come here. We need oh, to talk. Oh, I don't want to do this. I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a coat. I don't think or I said something. that. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? I don't think we should be leaving the room. I thought we had soda. Oh, damn it. Okay, let's just go quickly. <laughs> Oh, it's- there's a vending machine here. Okay, cool. Thank God for Brody, because we would not have had enough. Well, this is creepy. Daddy. Oh God, what's happening? Is it the powers happening? It is. Fuck. Holy crap. Oh my god. Daniel! What's happening? Daniel, calm down! You lied! What? How did he find out? Dad! Your dad is dead! Oh no! Why? Um. It was an accident? It was an accident! I fucked up and a cop shot him! Who? I'm so sorry. Why? Why did you lie to me? Oh god, I hate this. I just wanted to protect you until I could- Protect me from what? You? Oh god. I- I hate you! Not my brother! Don't say that. Don't say that. I know I messed up everything. We're gonna get through this. Don't touch me! Daniel, please! Oh, Shh. oh my god. 
Oh, this is so sad. It's okay. <laughs> okay, now Sean has to know that he has some kind of powers. <laughs> Me too. We were gonna see Dad. I'm sorry. I just. Just don't lie to me ever again. Ever. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, that'll make him feel good. I promise. I won't lie to you again. I promise. I'm serious, Sean. I know. Me too, Danny. My heart actually hurts what right is now. What are gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Oh my god. That was almost what I guessed though, right? I guessed that we were gonna tell him and then he was gonna freak out and the powers would happen, but oh. like, close enough. It's not over yet. Am I... a monster? No. Nothing is wrong with you. You're... different. Tell him he's like a superhero or something. Okay. We gotta figure the powers out together. What are we gonna do now? I was thinking, maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos, where Dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do, as long as we're together. Can you tell me a story, like he did? Aww. I'll do anything you want. That's good. As <laughs> he used to tell me bedtime stories too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa. They all lived happily together, but, but one day, hunters took their dad away, forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey. Daniel is gonna like end up being like a lot stronger and stuff than we than I have given him credit for in the beginning. Kids surprise you that way, right? Like they're surprisingly resilient. episode one to start this story like I already care so much about these two characters I want them to have a happy ending so bad I know it's like a strange so like what are really the odds of that but whew, I'm gonna do what I can To be 
continued. So that's it, you guys. That's episode one of Life is Strange 2. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear kind of your thoughts and opinions and what you think is going to happen in episode two. Or even if you have theories about like what direction you think this game's going to go in um, and uh, what the ending might entail. I don't know. And do you think we're going to see a Max and Chloe cameo? And I wonder if we said, like, if you sacrificed Chloe in the first game, maybe you would just see Max? And I guess in that scene, then, Arde Arcadia Bay just wouldn't have been destroyed or something. Um, That's so cool that they, like, incorporated that, actually. I didn't think that they were going to do that just because they're so adamant on, like, ending the story of Life is Strange 1, which makes complete sense to me, so... I think that's so cool that they just added that in as a little easter egg. That makes me really happy. I really hope the next episode is going to focus a lot on developing those powers and figuring out how to control them. And I suppose that we're just going to be kind of trying to guide Daniel. And we're not going to actually be using a mechanic or anything, but I'm not really sure. I really like all the kind of... Um, things they use to make this game unique, like we have Dan- or sorry, we have Sean's drawing ability, which I think is pretty cool. It kind of takes quite a while, I find it a little bit uh, tedious, but it is really cool. I like that we get to pick up souvenirs along the trip, that's kind of like uh, Max taking the photos. So overall, like, I loved this. I think this was such a good introduction to Life is Strange 2. I, I'm already, like, I feel for Sean and Daniel so much, and, um, god, my emotions are going. They're real. They're happening already. <laughs> so let's just skip forward here and see if, um, wow. Okay. Can we get to the end and see? Oh, there are choices. Okay, let's have a look. So most people, you could choose to keep it for yourself. Oh my god, I can't believe most people did that. <laughs> um, we told the truth to his dad. Okay. Most people did that. Most people hugged him. I think because they knew something was going to happen to him from the trailer. We didn't take money from the jar. We could have put money in the jar? Oh, maybe if we had gone back afterwards. I didn't even think about that. And most people confronted Brett. Which makes sense, because clearly Brett was being the jerk, and, like, Daniel didn't do anything. It's just an accident. He's just a kid, right? Um, steal in the parking lot. Wow, most people stole. Okay. Uh, most people did not beg for food. And most people didn't steal in the gas station. I think for the exact same reason that I didn't, which was, uh, we don't want to have that negative impact on Daniel. You stole while Daniel distracted Doris. So not only can we, like, kind of be a bad example, but we can actually, like, directly corrupt him, which is so messed up. You hit Hank and stole the camping gear? Oh my god, so if we were going to steal it, we would have actually had to, like, hurt him, too. He probably would have woken up or something. Most called Lila back, not surprising. And we promised we would not lie to him again. I feel like we're not going to have to lie to him. Oh, cool. So these are like the smaller things that Daniel learned about trailblazing. Oh, right, because we're like teaching him stuff. Didn't fall in the woods. Oh, when was that? I don't even remember that. Oh, he looks like he's going over the log. I guess that was it. Built a fort. Okay. Didn't do the wood race. Oh, no, I didn't even see that. I guess a lot of people didn't. Uh, learned how to skip stones. Wow, most people didn't. He didn't get mad. Oh, he could have gotten mad at us in the woods? He was afraid of your stories and had nightmares. Yeah, that's because we decided not to be a jerk. And yeah, he could have gotten sick from the berries. Okay. Didn't have to beg. Didn't distract Doris. Okay, good. He had enough to eat. So that would have impacted him. I wonder if he would have been more, um lethargic or something like that. Yes, we were in the, the small percentage that got the bear toy because I just, like, I can't help it. Oh my god, look at this! He didn't steal anything! Is that because we didn't steal so we didn't teach him that? Oh my god, I can't believe he would have stolen from Brody. 
So our choices really do have an impact. I am actually really surprised by that. Holy crap. I feel like we're doing good. I feel pretty good about my choices. That's, I All mean, right. I'm sure that could change. Oh, okay. Come Is this on, a, a Focus. look to the next episode? Oh my god, it's winter. Okay. Trust me. Oh, we're trying to train you him with the powers. It. Okay. This is what I was hoping for. I guess trying to help him control it a little bit more. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I can't wait till the next episode. I don't know if um Dot Nod has like said how often they're going to have them and now it's winter time. I love when they change the uh the title screens. Okay, you guys. Wow, I I love that so much. Um, I don't know if I'm just biased to loving Life is Strange, and that's why I loved it so much. But now I'm gonna go watch a bunch of other people play Episode One and uh, see what you guys have to say about it too. Because one of my favorite things about Life is Strange games is people just um, coming up with all the kinds of different kinds of theories and things like that. So I'm really looking forward to that, and I really hope you guys enjoy this episode. Let me know in the comments below if you did. And uh, yeah, let me know all of your thoughts and your theories and all of that because I would love to hear them and talk about, with, talk about it with you guys. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more. You can also hit that notification bell if you want to get notified of when new videos come out. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.